How to use SurveyMonkey for beginners. Hi there, today we'll learn more about SurveyMonkey and how to begin one. So what is SurveyMonkey? This is an online survey platform that allows individuals and organizations to create, send, and analyze surveys and feedback form. So why is SurveyMonkey important because this actually provides a quick and easy way for individuals and organizations to collect data and feedback from a large number of people. So to begin with, what you need to do is go ahead and go to your browser and click on SurveyMonkey.com. And when you click on SurveyMonkey.com, you can go ahead and create your own account by clicking on Start a Free Account or the basic SurveyMonkey option. So first thing you need to do is input your user or your email address, and then you will be creating your password and confirm your password. Once you have filled out those information, you will be routed to the home page of your SurveyMonkey dashboard. So these are some of the survey templates on the account. So you, you can actually start with using a, a template for the survey or you can start making your own survey template here. So there are a lot of options here like a quiz, an employment template for a survey, and on the upper left corner here, you will see the main menu where you can click on home, where you can explore on what you can do. And then there's also the plans and pricing that will be working for you. For example, you will be needing a large number of surveys and you need a feedback as soon as possible. You can just click on whichever options you like like a team advantage, premier, or enterprise. This would, um, this would really help you a lot. So if you want to create a survey, you can go ahead and click on the upper part of the website where you, beside the word upgrade, there's create survey and you'll be routed to this page. So here you can just click on the survey name. What do you name your survey? For example, um, let's say your favorites. And then once you have the title, you'll be routed to this page where you have a lot of options or what templates you'll be using. So here is a summary on the progress of your survey. So would, you can just go ahead and click on design a survey. And then here you will have the option to build style and you have a lot of options as well. So what you can do is you can add a question. Here, so I just have my guide, so you can just copy and paste it. And then here on the right part, you'll have the option whether how the question is being answered, whether it is the multiple choice or through a checkbox or just a single text box that they can type in manually by themselves. And then once you're good with that, you can go ahead and click on next question. And then you can go ahead and save first, and then you will you can proceed with creating your next question. So you have also the um, option to import the questions, but you can just manually type in the questions here. Here, so you can just add more questions you can also have the option to copy and paste so you will use the first question as your base tem template so that all of them will have a similar answer box here so just need to copy the questions
now that you have copied 10 questions, you can go ahead and edit the questions so that it would have the different questions for each number. Here, once you have edited all the questions, you can just click on done. And then you can go ahead and save. And then for you to go back to the next page, you can just go to the upper right corner of the screen b below the word add collaborators. And then you'll be routed to preview the questionnaire. So this is how your survey will look into the when it will be distributed to the surveyors here so you can answer that if you like here so let's try to answer So it just to inform you on the right side of the screen, there it actually inf provides you the estimated completion rate and also the estimated time to complete the survey. So as you can see, since this is just a short question and only have five questions here, the estimated time could be one minute. And it also indicates here if ever your survey has a... Um, error that is ongoing um, bef before us to proceed here we will actually need to um, verify your email address this and you can also edit how the survey would look like whether on a conversation or the question will be asked one by one or you can just have it in a quiz form where it will be provided all in one. So on the other side, you can also choose what view or you can edit as well on how it may look on a mobile, a tablet or a computer. Here, so once we are done with that, you can go ahead and verify your email address. And there, there was a notification that the email has been sent. We'll just verify the email and there you have it email has now been verified and then what you can do here is either you can target your ideal responses where you can choose what demographics like for example college students or high school students on a specific group or you can just choose the uh, you'll be the one to manually send the link and then once you click on the other option it provides the link and then you can copy and share it either through email or you can manually send it over through message and you can, you can actually send it to Facebook as well here's So as you can see, there are no responses yet. So it also indicates here how many has responded to the survey. Okay, and that's how you will be working with SurveyMonkey. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.